Here's a project you can make with a MonkMakes slider for microbit and a servo for microbit. So as we move the position of the slider left and right, we'll see that the servo motor follows it. Here's how the wiring works. So you can see that both the slider and the servo board, in this case, are both getting their power from the microbit. So you need to double up on the alligator clips to the three volts and ground connections. And then the servo uh, is connected to P0. Um, you could connect two other servos if you want, but we're just using one. And on the slider side, you'll see that the um, slider's output, which is the analog position as you move the slider backwards and forwards, is connected to pin P2 of the microbit. Here's the code, and it really couldn't be much simpler. We set a variable called slider position to be whatever the analog reading is from P2. So if the slider is over to the left, then that reading will be 0. If it's right over to the right, then it'll be 1023. We need to get that into a range suitable for the servo motor, which expects an angle between 0 and 180 degrees. <coughs> so dividing the value by about 5.7 will give us this. And we simply write the servo to that particular angle. Here's a slightly different version of the project where we've used two microbits communicating over the radio. So on the right here, we're moving the slider, and that's sending the position to that microbit and that's transmitting it to the microbit connected to the servo. Here's the code for the slider end of the project and as you can see it's um, pretty straightforward. We choose a radio group and that just has to be the same for both ends of the project and then in the forever loop we just continually read the pin P2 for the, to get the slider position, turn it into an angle between 0 and 180 and then send that angle over the radio to the other microbit. And we have a pause there of a tenth of a second just to stop the messages flooding across to the other microbit. Here's the code for the servo end of the project. So we start by setting the radio group to the same group as the transmitter. And now we have a block that says on radio received. So whenever we see an incoming message from another microbit, uh, we, so we do a servo write for the pin zero to be the value that we've received as part of that radio packet. So this is just going to be directly receiving the angle as a value between 0 and 180 degrees and setting the servo to that angle. And that's all there is to it.